This piece is entitled uh, Last Turn of the Morning Carousel, Forever Turn the Midnight Carousel, Birthday Poem for Mary. Am I just another antiquity, an artist who finds a natural home among the paupers, whose graves are marked with seri serial numbers instead of headstones? I hate gimmicks and dismiss them like any other moment of mediocrity. The truth is that I have no problem with standing among broken things which have lost their lacquer along with most of the pigment born of memory. Memories and the past are ruined cities with many blind alleys and dead ends, along with the hustlers of our wishful thinking who makes everything we recall as unreliable as the New York Post. So why do we rely on this memory or anything else which is expedient with its answers. You should know I live just on the outskirts of any post-war city of memory, for that's the last place I can find you still smiling in rare moments of being among friends without pretense, and those who you feel no need to hide the fits and the fury which create the recoil of a gun, and use that wind to start another devastating storm, and, uh, another devastating inner storm. Fragile as a little girl one moment, then fierce as the wards the next. I would like to take the gun that you had pressed against your heart since you were 16 and turn it onto the demons that you hunted to escape with pills and boyfriends and expedited answers from Long Island gurus so perhaps we can live ordinary lives with ordinary fears of everyday things. Perhaps we can write letters of discontent to the New York Times or find a home in banality. You should have known that I've grown tired of keeping company with artists. Their conversations and their letters have become fatally urgent, crying about the end of this long-running party we know as civilization. Oh, how I'd love to spend one more afternoon in bed with you watching TV or listening to music, I can hold you once again, and you should think of my arms as a beach emptied of all the people. So you can skinny dip in the welcoming waters freely, and the waves could wash away South Oaks and Pilgrim into a feverish dream of straps on the beds and clocks that announce medtime. Oh, how I wish the taste of coffee could have kept you around, and I'd always keep a pot on for you. If only you didn't follow those demons to the rope's end, then perhaps the candle I'll light for you tomorrow won't burn all night. Your breath could have taken care of that. But what remains guaranteed the last turn of the morning carousel and forever turns the midnight carousel. Thank you. Wow, wow.